Hello, this is Josh from HeadCamGuy.com and Adventure Eye Video Systems. Let's face it, as much as family and friends enjoy watching you make that 360 on your snowboard or clear a 10 foot gap on your mountain bike, sometimes the most exciting videos are when things don't happen as expected. Here are 7 tips on how to capture that next big crash for the enjoyment of your friends, family, and loved ones. Tip number one, do not mount your head cam to your head. Your head shakes around a lot, and the crash footage will often be too choppy to be usable. And since you are not in the picture, it is hard to tell how bad the crash was, or if you even crashed at all. Tip number two, put yourself in the picture. Try putting yourself in the picture by securely mounting the head cam to an object that will always point at you, even on impact. Tip number three, securely mount your head cam. If the mount is not secure, then the camera will move on impact. Ram mounts are recommended for this reason. Tip number four, securely mount your head cam to yourself. The best crash footage is often achieved by mounting a head cam to your arm, leg, or chest. It is hard to miss that crash when the head cam is securely mounted to your body and pointed towards yourself. Using a head cam with the wide angle lens will ensure that you are capturing the whole scene. Tip number five, use multiple head cams. If you have a second head cam, use it. You are more likely to capture that crash if you have multiple head cams filming from different perspectives. A ground cam held by a friend is also useful and will make your video more interesting. Having multiple head cams can also help you to make a longer video out of a brief experience. Tip number six. Use a backwards facing helmet cam mount. The only exception to my do not mount your head cam to your head rule is the backwards facing helmet mount. The cam is attached to a helmet and extended in front of the rider so that the head cam can be pointed at the rider. You can also point the head cam towards yourself using a backwards facing pole mount. Tip number seven, be safe. This is not really a tip, but it is very important. Any head cam setup that will cause injury to yourself or to your equipment is not recommended. Personal injuries and equipment damage are not worth the footage. Do not purposely crash. Thank you for watching, and for more information, visit headcamguy.com.